Hi everybody, I'm Sylvie and I am going to show you how to put together your hedgehog pencil holder and trailer. Beep, 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 beep. So I'll show you how it goes. I think that they should go pokey side in. I drilled the holes deep enough for that. Um, but we'll see, I'll show you what else is in the kit. Maybe you've opened yours up already. And if it just feels too spiky for playing, like you could have the pencils when they're on your desk and it can keep you company, that's what the trailer's for, that you can keep other things like markers or if you have bigger pencils. Um, so I'll, let's take a look at what is in your kit. Dun, 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 dun. So, what you have, some colored pencils, two fun pencils, hedgehog parts, some blocks for the trailer, and all of these other parts. So I would suggest that you put all of these in a bowl. Um, I want to show you what they are, so I'm just going to dump it out. We have some brown paper for ears, some sandpaper for sanding, and there's some little nails in here, so be careful. So here are our wheels. We have eight wheels. This is what is, these are what are going to hold our axles. These are our axles and they're two different lengths. So the wider ones go on the trailer and the, sh the shorter ones go on the hedgehog. I give you two erasers, because those are fun. I always use up erasers. This is our trailer hitch. And this is for aligning the axles. And then some nails to put it all together. So what are these guys for? Well, it's in case it feels too spiky to have pencils in here. These are sharp too, um, but you could have pencils and these. You could, this is kind of fun, do its hair. Um, so hedgehogs are not native to the, to, um, the United States. They are in Africa and Europe and Asia, and they've been introduced to New Zealand, but Australia um, and North America don't have any right now. The North America um, has an extinct hedgehog, one that is no longer alive. So they're spikes, they have all these spikes on their body but not on their face and this is part of their defense and when they get scared or there's a predator they curl up into a ball and they're a little spiky ball. I think that's pretty fun. They also, people have hedgehogs as pets, that's where you'll find them in the US and one thing that they like to do is stick their head in a tube and hang out for a while which is pretty funny. Yeah, hedgehog! So you can do it like this, and it can just pull the pencil trailer. So the first thing that we're going to do, like usual, is some sanding. So you have two kinds of sandpaper. The blue one is a little rougher, it's 120 grit, and the yellow one is a little finer, and it's 180 grit. So what you want to do is fold this in thirds so it doesn't slip around on you. And we just want to sand the fuzzies off the edges. And if you want to shape it a little bit, that now is a good time to do that.
make him shape his little nose, make it nice and round. And they're called a hedgehog because they like to, um, they were given that name around 1450, which is a long time ago, because they like to hide in hedgerows, which are bushes. Um, and because they sort of looked like a pig with their little snout. So that's where the name comes from. So I'm going to take this one and fold it. And this is what I do to get the little fuzzies out of here. There might still be some sawdust from drilling the holes. So now we've done this. So that's not too much sanding. So now we'll put this away. We can start with the hedgehog. So I traced where this should go. I forgot on the other side, but that's what this little block can help me with. I can line this up on this edge. This is a square little block and draw this, draw myself a line and bring it around just a little bit. And that's where I will align the back of the hedgehog. So you want to get your glue and your glue spreader. And again, as usual, I have my wet paper towel and my dry paper towel. Um, and these can go either way. So I'm going to, this one will go right here. So I'm going to turn it over and spread some glue on it. And I'll stay away from the very edges. And then I'll get less squeeze out, which is when the, there's so much glue. And when we push these surfaces together, glue squeezes out. So what I want to do is I use my thumbs and I line this up because we want this to be a flat surface. So I'll start my nails and it might wiggle. You can just glue these first and then screw it. The nails will really just hold the piece where we want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my fingers right here and tap lightly until it bites. And these nails are not long enough to go through, so you don't have to worry that you're going to hit the table. So then I will do the other side. So this one, I put it on there just to make sure I don't put the glue on the wrong side. And if you do put the glue on the wrong side, wipe it off with your paper towel. Make sure you get it, you scrub it a little bit, and it's totally fine it will be totally fine. Glue. And so when I was making this, I had to make sure that the nails were low enough so that they wouldn't get um, in our pencil holes. So I'll start that with one tap and I'll hold my finger right here so I can feel that it's lined up. And it's going to move around just a little bit. One. So it's pretty well lined up. So I didn't have any squeeze out, 
but if you do, what you can do is just clean it up like this. Doop, doop. Okay, so now we have this guy. You can look at your sanding. I might want to sand that a little more. You want to, and the reason we sand it is so that it feels really nice in your hand and isn't sharp. Okay, so next, what we want to do is these guys, we'll have to sand these a little bit, but they go here and here for the wheels. So I'm just going to get the fuzzies off. And you can sand this edge. Okay, so measuring and marking is very important. This is marking, not so much measuring. So this I just, I'm using this little block, and if it's flush here, which means it's at this same surface, it means that my line, because this is a 90 degree angle, will be perpendicular. Because we want our wheels to be aligned together. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just using one side and giving myself two straight lines. And then this will go here and here. And it'll make sure that my wheels, because if our wheels aren't parallel, if, the, if you put them on like this, it's just not gonna roll very well. So this is where we need to be we don't want a ton of glue on our glue spreader. We just want a little bit, right, like that. Doop, doop. Doop, doop. And I'm going to center it. You don't, it's, you know, it can be approximately centered. It is okay. And I'm just going to hold it and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I'll do my other one. I'll line it up right on this one, this line. And I'll hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we'll just leave this there to dry for a minute. And so we can get, this is your trailer hitch, and we'll want to sand this just a little bit, just so it feels nice. And there's a lot of stuff in this hole. That's better. So now, while this is sitting to dry, I want to do one more thing this trailer hitch needs to go on. But what we want, one thing you can check, is that when this trailer goes, we want it to be able to swivel. So we want to make sure that we're not closer than that. So we want to give it a little bit of space just to make sure that our trailer can swing around. So I'll put some glue on here. And I'll see where my line is. And I'll hold this. And I want it to be pretty, um, pretty straight, but it doesn't, it's the same width as, look, there's some little squeeze out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I can see my little line, so I know I'm going to be okay. So the top of your trailer, this is where the hitch goes. 
So this side with the longer, where it isn't an indent, this is up. This would be the indent. So what I want to do is figure out where I want these. We can put them pretty much from towards the front and the back. And again, I can use my little, my little square and I'll draw a line. And I'm holding my fingers right here. And this means that this line is 90 degrees to this line. And that just helps us know that these aren't like that or like that. Um, because we want the wheels to be parallel to each other. So a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, I want it to go to the other side of my line. Darn it. So I'll just wipe that off. I don't want to get too much water where I'm about to glue. So I'll put, I'll just re-glue this a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I have a little bit of the glue right here, so I'm going to hold this with one hand and wipe the glue off with the other. So much glue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hold this. I'll wipe my glue off. Or just smear it around my project. So now that this is right here, I can start building because I want to let this glue set for a minute. Um, and I'll need my glue for this. You can wait with these. Um, and you can just dump these out. So we have blocks of two sizes. These are pretty standard blocks that I make in my studio. And, you know, you can check the length of your pencil. I tried to make it generous, so in case your pencils were longer than my pencils. Um, and if you, wanna, if you want to make yourself a line about where you're going to come up to, you can use your little block. Um, so then you can, you can play around, or you can just start building. You know, you could make this into something different if you want. You could make it into um, a trailer for some of your, um, if you have little animals that you play with and you want the hedgehog to give them a ride. Um, you can build whatever you want out of this for your trailer to pull. So I just put the blocks and you, you just press them down for, we don't have to hold these for 10 seconds because we're just gonna let it sit and it's okay. So I'm putting little spaces in between because these blocks don't perfectly fit this measurement. But they're just the standard blocks that I make for the kits. Because they're so much fun. You could build yours like this if you want. They won't be as strong if you glue them on your ends. So it really depends on what you want to use your trailer for. Okay, so I'm going to put these So I'm going to put another level because the, the higher we go, the more pencils you can put in there. 
or whatever you plan to use your trailer for. And if I go over these gaps, it'll make the whole construction really strong. So I put a bigger space in there so I would span over to this one. I'll put a little block in here now. And you can play and figure out what you want to build before you build it. You don't have to just build it right away, but if you want to just build it right away, you can do that too. Okay, so now I have this. I have some blocks left over that if I want to make it bigger in the front again, which I think I'll go ahead and do. Little squeeze out, you can clean it up or you don't have to. It's whatever you prefer. This one is sort of a lot, sort of looks like frosting and now it all smushed around. Um, and it'll be a little wiggly for a little bit until it dries, it'll take a little over an hour for it to be really, really dry. But you can still do stuff with it as long as you are gentle. Okay, dun, 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 dun. and if you want, you can color your blocks before. You can paint them or draw on them before, or you can um, build it up and then paint it later. The thing that's, um, it's really hard to paint these ends once it's together, um, but it really just, however you want to do it, it is fine. So now I can start putting my wheels together. And again, think about if you want to color these, it's a little bit easier when they're all loose to color them or paint them. So these will fit right in here. Um, you don't have to glue them, they'll just fit. And there's less cleanup. So what I want to do is I'm going to put axles and wheels together. So that's a short one and this is a tall one. And I want, there's a flat side and a side with um, some rounding to make it look like a wheel and a hub. So you can figure out which side you want out. And if these are loose, you can, I would put some glue in it. So um, wood expands and contracts depending on the weather. So right now here in Madison, it's very dry. So the wood shrinks. And when it's humid, the cells absorb water and it expands. And it doesn't matter that the tree has been cut down for years, um, it will always expand and contract. So these are for my trailer and these are for my hedgehog. So I'll do the hedgehog first, but I still wanna be gentle with it. So what I'll do, is I will put this one on here, and then I'm just gonna hold this over. Tap, tap, tap. And I'll hold it right over here. Tap, 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 tap. Hello, hedgehog. And I'm going to need to be really careful. I might let this dry for one more minute. Um, so the thing that I forgot to put on my hedgehog were ears. So 
I want to do that, and I'm just going to cut out an ear shape. So I cut out a basic shape, and now I can refine it a little bit more. And it can just be flat, or if you cut and snip this and fold it over, you get a little curve. So I'm going to use the tiniest bit of glue on here. Um, you want a really small amount of glue, or you'll, I always end up just gluing my fingers together. And these ears, I think my ears are too small. I think I need a bigger ear. And if you want your ears to be exactly the same, once you cut one out, you can trace it. Or you can, I will trace this one. And your ears don't have to be brown. You can color them. You can um, use different paper and color it. And paper is pretty fun. I can just curve it like this and make it a curved ear. Um, I'm going to do this where I just put a cut in it and a cut. It's about halfway through I put the little cut. I just want the tiniest bit of glue, too much. So I'll take my dry paper towel and wipe some of it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm almost going to glue it to my finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oop, I forgot to remind everybody to wear your safety glasses when you work and when you're hammering, especially. So I can. I can cut these to make the bottom look prettier. Okay, hedgehog, you need some ears. Much better. make sure they're sort of going the same way. Okay, so now my hedgehog has ears. So when I decorated this, I painted it all brown first, and then I put orange and blue polka dots on it that I didn't love. And then I put this ochre color on it with sort of my brush was a little dry. It's called dry brushing to get this texture. And then I, with a pen, with a gel pen, I just made little marks to sort of look like hair and dots. And this is paint, but it could be cut out paper. And I drew a little, there's a little dot where your eye is. And I painted these wheels when they were not on it. So this, this is the first color brown I painted. And you can still see a little bit of the blue, which I like. I like doing a lot of layers of paint. OK, let's talk trailer. So for this, because it's still, I didn't glue it up very long ago, I do need to be pretty careful with it. And I can see that I have a little bit of glue in here. It's totally fine. You just want to make sure if you put your axle in to spin it a couple times just to make sure you don't glue your axle in because that would be sad. And that's one of the only things you need to be careful of with this project is gluing the axles in. Um, and the, only, the way that you can get it to not glue is just 
If there's a little bit, every couple minutes, just take it and move it around. So I put, this was meant to be like a safety triangle like they have on tractors. Um, you could draw lights. Boop. And I didn't glue this dowel in. It fits really well, but I think I am gonna glue it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue in this hole, and it's a little messy, so I'll wipe it off. And then I'll stick this off the table, and I'll push it in. Doop. And so now it's time to decorate. So for this, I painted it, um, first I painted it all black on the inside, and then I started to paint it blue, sort of with the dry brushing. Here's a little black. I wanted it to be like a, a sky trailer. So it's got clouds and some rainbows and this dotted line on the top. Um, you could use your pipe cleaners in here if you want. You could just stick them in here. And I can decorate my trailer with them. Dun, 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 dun. You know, so if you're like, nope, my hedgehog's gonna have pencils, you can use these right here. Some of the gaps on mine are too big, but you could glue these in. You could, um, but just if you wanna get your hand in, you might wanna only put these on one side or like on the front or on the back. Just remember that you wanna get your hand in there to get the stuff that you're putting in your trailer. So um, if you want to draw spikes on here, a good way to draw spikes is just some little lines, right? Or if you want to glue spikes on, you can cut a bunch of triangles out of paper. Those are probably too small. We can cut some of these out of paper and then glue them on. So I can either fold the tiny bit of the bottom and glue them on and make spikes. So I can just, this I'll just dip in my glue thing that we can have you can have spikes, or you could glue some string to it if you want. You could think about things that will make spikes. So the hedgehogs have spikes everywhere but their face and their belly, because when they curl in, they don't want to spike themselves. How do these spikes look? Spiky? So play around. I'm sure y'all are great at decorating. Bloop, I gotta give this guy ears. And you can just play around and you know, these will come off or you can sand it off if there's a little bit of glue, if you don't like them. So remember, you can play around and change your mind. I need to give my, um, this one, some ears. And you can use the brown paper bag bat paper to make some spikes if you want, if you need more brown paper. Remember there's the brown paper bag, that there's all sorts of stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sticky. One, two, oh, I didn't even glue it and I started counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. go. Hedgehog. Hedgehog and trailer. Ooh, pencil holder. Bloop, bloop, bloop. These pencils just fit. But pencils like this will fit very easily. 
I just thought those other pencils were pretty fun. So I can put these all in here. Dun, 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 dun. Full load of pencils. So have fun. I can't wait to see what you make. Um, I hope you have fun decorating your hedgehog and you can read about them. Um, I read about them on the internet on Wikipedia. So if you want to know some more facts about hedgehogs, uh, you can ask your adult to help you with the internet and, uh, and look it up. Or maybe you can do those things, you know how to do those things on your own. Um, so thank you and remember to be kind and to be helpful.